Welcome to Sixes Overdrive. Let me tell you, it's a good thing I got my motorcycle ride in the other day because take a look at this. Doesn't look like I'm gonna get back on anytime soon, so why don't we do something different today? You know, I have a set of earbuds that I absolutely love. They're called the Jabra Elite 65T Actives. Is that right? No, maybe it's the Jabra Elite Active 65T. I don't know. Anyway, what a horrible name for a pair of earbuds. But they are fantastic. And I thought I'd give you guys maybe a little bit of a rundown of why I like them so much. Now, there's actually a 75T out as well. And I'm going to give you the rundown on the differences between the two a little bit. And why to save money or spend money on the newer, greater, faster better sounding model. So let's get to it. As I said before, these are not the latest greatest product from Jabra. There's a 75T version and it's going to give you a bunch of extras. But of course, those extras are going to cost a lot of money. As far as I can tell at the time of this review, it's going to cost you at least $60 Canadian to get yourself into the 75T. Now they're improved in just about every single way. So we're going to go through it and we're going to decide if that's worth it for you guys. We'll see with all the information that I give you if that's something that makes the decision a lot easier for you. All right. So for those of you who don't know, this channel is not usually about earbuds or tech or anything like that. Typically it's about motorcycles. It's about Coca-Cola. It's about travel. It's about motorcycle trips and maybe barbecue and putting a smoked meat on and all that kind of stuff. That's usually what we're about. But these things here have been such a great little addition for me. And you know, you want somebody to maybe tell you a little bit about them. A real world experience, not some paid review or something. Everything I do is seat of the pants. Now remember, the seat of the pants means that I'm doing these reviews on the fly. They're not really scripted or anything. So if I've missed something, I need you guys to comment down below. Now, if you don't feel like commenting down below, why don't you take a trip over to my Instagram page, at Sixes Overdrive. Leave your comments there. As well, you can check out any of the new developments that I'm doing or little behind the scenes items. But that Instagram account was made just for you guys so you can see what I'm doing on a daily basis. I'd like to think that I'm somewhat fussy about my audio taste and sound quality and stuff. I'm no audiophile, let's put it that way. But I am a little bit fussy. And uh, so I really looked into these before I shelled out my $179 Canadian on them. So that's what I'm gonna pass on to you is some of the knowledge and some of the on-hand experience. There were certain things that I really wanted in earbuds, and that's how I'm gonna go about this on this review. I'm gonna list them by the things that were important to me. Noise pass-through was important. Now, the reason this is so important is because when you're wearing those earbuds in your ears, it seals off all the other sound. And I really wanted to be aware of the surroundings around me, maybe even behind me, to see if a car was gonna run me over or another bicyclist was ringing their bell behind me because they wanted me to move off the sidewalk. This kind of stuff is important to me. What I was kind of wanting too was a pair of workout buds that I could actually hear a conversation from somebody, but that's not so good. You really have to turn the volume right down till you're almost not even hearing the music anymore. And then, then you can hear, but you might as well just press pause and listen to the person and then go back at it. And it keeps, it does keep the crowd noise coming through your earphones. So if you press pause, you'll be able to hear what everybody's saying. Another thing I really wanted, this, this was ultimately a deal breaker for me. I wanted the Bluetooth 5 and I wanted there to be no lag or anything in syncing with Netflix or YouTube on my phone. I wanted to be able to, at night, if everybody was in bed, be able to put those little buds in my ears and watch a movie and not have a gun go like this and then pew, half a second later, I wanted it to sync perfectly and this one nails it. The other buds I was looking for at the time that promised this were the Galaxy Buds and I ended up getting these for my wife. So I have heard them and everything. 
Um, they do sync up perfectly, but the Galaxy Buds had it and they were in the same price category. Now, just in case you're wondering, the Galaxy Buds do sound really good and everything, and they're on par with these in just about every way, uh, but they were a little bit more money and they just didn't quite have the same bass response that I got out of my Jabras. So yeah, the Jabras are really good for syncing up to your audio on your Bluetooth devices. It's perfect. Another big thing for me is I didn't want any of the cheap buds that didn't have the moisture resistance or the sweat resistant or anything. And these ones are really good. I can work out all the time. I get quite sweaty when I'm working out and no problems, no issues. Everything works good. And from what I've heard from other reviewers as well, they're really good for the moisture resistant thing. They're right up at the top there. So very good earbuds for water resistant. A snug fit. Now, anybody who's ever tried Apple earbuds, the one thing you're gonna really hate about them is when you start moving your head around, they have a tendency to fall out and flop around and stuff like that, or the seal breaks. And Anyway, these work really good. They go into your ear quite tightly. They come with three different sizes of ear, uh, those little silicon earbuds or whatever that you put into your ears. So you should be able to find a size that you like. You can even put like a larger one if your ear canal is bigger in one ear than the other. You can do that as well. You can just interchange those little uh, things out. One thing to be aware of if you're going from over ear headphones to these or even ones that don't seal quite so much like the old AirPods and stuff. There's a sort of rumbling that happens when your bones hit the ground and you're working out or you're jogging or something. And that takes a little while to get used to and you do get used to it, but it's gonna happen if you get any of these sealed air buds. Um, they're just going to make that kind of thuddy noise for the first while until you get used to that. That's your body moving and you're hearing it coming through all the bones and everything in your head. But to get back to my original point, yeah, you put them in, they're not coming out. Somebody would have to seriously crack you hard for these earbuds to fall out of yours. You can use them for jogging, you can use them for, well, maybe not boxing. I almost said boxing. <laughs> they're not going to fall out. Maybe if you're boxing, they might fall out. <laughs> Phone functionality was huge for me. I wanted to be able to call people and, and have them just work as a, as a Bluetooth speaker kind of thing and microphone. And these work really good. To the point of when I stop my car and I pull out the buds and go to put them in my ear, they automatically switch over from the car and everything. When I come back out, all I have to do is hit a transfer button on my car. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, I just thought I'd go for a little walk in the park. I, I changed it. I don't know. Yeah, for sure. I don't even have to worry about the person really knowing what I'm doing. It just does it all seamlessly. And it might change the sound of the recording or whatever coming through on the other end. But I don't get people saying, what, what, what? These things work really good for that. And the way they connect in and out, it's really good. And then if you were listening to music before you started getting your phone call or whatever, at the end of the phone call, it just goes right back to playing your music exactly where you left off. This makes your phone into something livable again. And it does have voice commands. I never use them. Sound quality is pretty important to me. Like I said before, not audiophile kind of stuff here. I'm not an audiophile. I don't really care about it that much. My ears at 50 have taken their abuse and these sound really good. In the price range, I couldn't find anything that sounded better. That's saying a lot because there's a lot of these buds out there. The 75 T's are just, they just spread out that range a little bit more just in case you're wondering. Uh, the 75 T's will fit into your ear and they will seal better than these ones will, which is already very good. But the 75 T's are a little bit better in that sound quality range. Honestly, battery life didn't mean much to me. Uh, the Jabra 65T was promising five hours in one charge. That's like two movies. I'm not sticking these things into my ear for two full movies. I'm not going five hours at a time with these things in my ears. Maybe somebody would and then maybe you'll want to jump up to 75T because that one actually gets somewhere around seven hours. Now, when you have the little case, um, which comes with it, of course, it's a charging case. It actually can go up to 15 hours because you get two charges in the case plus your buds that are working right at that moment. So you can get 15 hours. I go to the gym uh, usually three, four, five times a week, work out for an hour each time. It takes two weeks to deplete that case with its earbuds. So 
battery is not an issue. If you do need more battery, if you're one of those people that have the headphones in your ear all day long, then absolutely go for the 75T because it's got what you want. The battery life is even more, it's almost double. So that'll tell you something. Also the charging case and the buds on the 75T, you're gonna find them smaller than the 65T. The 65T, uh, you can see in my shots here. I'm sorry I don't have a 75T to show you guys right now, but I'll probably put something up from another video, a quick little shot of what they look like. Also, that 75T, the battery case, it's magnetic, so you can turn it upside down and your buds won't fall out of it. That's a big thing actually, because that's something I didn't consider when I was buying mine, but now as I use it, when you open up the case, if your hands are shaky or you're, you know, maybe you're going no hands on your pedal bike down the road or something, it's easy for these to fall out and land on tile. I've done it a couple times. Luckily, they're very durable and they didn't break or anything, but the magnetic case would have been nice. So what do I dislike about these things? Well, there's not very much. I personally would like to have a feature where the music just diminishes in the background when I'm talking to somebody if I tap something, but it's not a big deal. I can just pause the music for a little bit and get back to it after the conversation. Like I said before, the magnetic case, that would be super. These earbuds, the 65Ts, I didn't get to try the 75Ts enough, but the 65Ts will actually glitch every now and then. You'll put the two buds into your ear and only one is working. Then you have to take them back out, put them back in the case and restart them, put them back into your ears and you're fine. That only happens about one in 15 times, but it's still annoying. It's kind of a glitch thing and I've heard other guys that have these have the same problem as well. That's it. That's the only complaints I have. These things are really super. They're an excellent value. And uh, you know, especially $65 or $60 less than the 75 T's. 75 T's have lots of options, but these little things here, they're gonna work every bit as good in my opinion. Uh, just, just a downgrade from every little tick, but I haven't even used the full potential of these headphones yet. They're really good. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. This is Sixes Overdrive. Remember to share, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out of here. Bye-bye.